I haven't played a lot of Satisfactory, but I really have enjoyed what I've played so far. So, yeah, that's that's where my that's where the night is going, ladies and gentlemen. Fix it. Fix it now. I want to know why my browser add-on isn't working. Construct things. Okay. Oh. Explore, find things. Yes, yes. Very nice. I like finding things. Can I look around at anything else? We're just gonna watch the watch the video. He's got fat pants now. His pants are full. Hopefully with items and not other things. <laughs> Get to work and be effective. Stop being lazy. Hurry up. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmosphere entry in five, four, three. We're entering the atmosphere, people. Oh, look at the fire. Is it going to explode? It's not. I can promise you it's not. I've seen this intro already. <laughs> but that's a lot of fire. This This pod must be very hot. I'm like oscillating between 55 and 2700 bits kilobits per second that's, that's not my favorite that's okay though that's okay it'll it'll stabilize maybe probably hopefully It's got a smiley face on the bottom. That's awesome. I didn't notice that before. Okay. So it generates a new structure every time. Interesting. What? Only three people survived that fall? How, of how, of how many? Oh, I would like onboarding. I will do the onboarding. I think we just need to deconstruct this. Did that. Did it. I'm going to start picking up sticks and stuff. Give me all the sticks and the leaves. Need all these. Please provide me with more sticks, please. Thank you. All the sticks? Oh, there's something after me. There's something after me. That's not good. Yeah, that's not great. Okay. Uh, can I have my, my weapon-y tool now? I don't want to stand here and dodge this guy forever. Oh, God. Oh, no. This is not great. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, running. Higher ground. Higher ground. Higher ground. Run away. Oh, okay. They can't get up here, right? Haha. -ha. I'm smart. You're not. Um, okay, wait. I need to open the codex. Okay, I did that. 
an objective. Please ensure you have your fixed it incorporated zero zapper affixed before leaving the drop zone. No. According to fix it regulations, FX should have access to a means of defense right. against extraterrestrial threats. I will take this carapace. And these leaves. I will take all of your all of your parts, please. Thank you. Okay, I want to do the scanning, but it's not letting me. Ah, that's not good. He's. We gotta take this guy out first. It's gonna be a problem. Stop it! Stop it! You are not allowed to attack me. Thank you. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that and we'll do, um, can I scan now please? There we go. Where is it? Let's see, what's the closest one? 262 meters, 231. That's actually, let's go this way because this looks like, well, actually this one's closer and that looks like a pretty open area over there so I'm down. And there's two deposits in this area. So we could do that. Where is it going to be? Hopefully it's in like an open space because I would prefer it be in an open area. Why did it disappear? Scan again, please. Thank you. I will take these leaves. Oh, wait. Ah, wait. Oh, we're real close. Oh, here they are. Here's the notes. They're right next to each other. That's awesome. Let's go. Okay, I found the things. Um... Yeah, we have to we have to do this first. That's right. Okay, I've I've gathered the resources. Dude, this guy is like the bane of, these are the bane of my existence right now. Can you stop jumping all over the place like a maniac? Come back here. Why are you running around in circles? Why are you doing this? Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, dude. This one is like buff. Why is this one so buff? Okay, okay what do I need to get the hub upgrade one? I need 10 bars. We could do that. We're just going to craft all this iron that we found. And we will make the iron rods. Iron rods, please. Thank you. And now we should be able to upgrade the hub. Nope, we need one more. Okay, well, just a little bit short. I wonder what those are over there. That should be enough, I think. Look at how weak my hub is right now. It's sad. It's a sad hub. We need ingots. They convert to a in a one to one ratio. So do rods. So useful. Okay. Now we should be able to do the hub upgrade one. Select. Upgrade the hub, please. Oh, wait. I have to add these in. Now we can do a thing. Yeah. Cool. We can put this stuff, this stuff in here. We don't need that. Congratulations. You have unlocked building workshop, equipment, portable mining, inventory, additional slots. Uh, we need production. We need the equipment workshop. Complete hub upgrade to no. What do I need for this? I need, okay, we need plates, I think, is what they're called. Uh, can I do the thing? Thank you. I think these are a three to one, so. We're just gonna collect like a bunch of iron. I think like 20 ought to do it. Now we will have more than enough plates to get the uh, engineer's bench or whatever it is. The thing that we need, that we are needing, that thing. Okay, we got 20. 
20 iron in the belly. Craft more iron ingots, please. Yes, all the ingots. Give me iron. So much iron. Iron plates, yeah, it's a, it's a three, okay. It's a three to one ratio, so not too bad. I'm glad we collected 20, uh, in 20 lumps of iron, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Uh, equipment workshop, we need this. I'm gonna put it like right against the hub, I think. Yeah, I'll put it back, back just a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so we should be able to, what? Can't afford. No, I don't. I want this. There we go. Uh, we need the portable miner, which means we need more more rods. Which I think we have enough to make the rods that we need. We have four. I th oh, we actually might need six. I can't remember. Nope, we're good. Craft it. Craft it, Bray. Yes, sir. We got the. Uh, the portable miner. Let's go ahead and equip it. Equipping the things. Now we can just drop this over this node and it'll mine iron for us. Boop. Uh, no, I wanted to boop it, not. There we go. I don't want to mine things myself. That's ridiculous. Who does that? Come on now. There we go. Look at this little guy go. Yeah. Give me the iron. Okay, we're just gonna collect what we can and we'll just let that go. It'll, it'll collect up to 100 iron, I believe. And then we need to check the hub and see what the next upgrade is gonna be. So we just need 10 plates. I think we have, uh, we do not have enough rods either. So we're gonna have to be doing some crafting. We're gonna craft the things, do all the stuff. Well, I think we'll collect the rods first because they're a one-to-one, -one. and um, yeah, and they're a little bit faster to make. Iron plates take longer. I should probably put a second portable miner out here, now that I think about it, but that's okay. Actually, you know what, we're gonna do that. We're just gonna take the extra time to get a second portable miner. Uh, how much do those cost? It's, oh, we have enough to do it, so yeah, let's just make that really quick. We might as well. It'll make life easier since we have two nodes that are literally right next to each other. I'm going to put one on each. Boom, boom. Get in there. Make me some iron, please. Please and thank you. Appreciate you, bruh. Alright, let's go back and craft this. Crafting the iron. The automation ability in this game is absolutely insane, and I love it. I cannot get enough of it, seriously. Uh, hold on, is that enough? How much do we need for this? Yeah, so we have all of the plates that we need. We just need 20 of the iron rods, which we only have enough for five, but we should have enough at the portable miners once we're done here. Let's go grab that. Let's go back and grab the things. Oh yeah, we'll definitely have enough between both of the portable miners. Mm-hmm, look at all that juicy iron. That's what I'm talking about. You know it's good. You know it's good, bro. Okay, we're gonna craft iron ingots. I'm just gonna go ahead and craft them all. We might as well. It's getting spicy on this panel right now. A little too spicy. It's gonna overheat. No worries. There we go. 
Uh, no, that is not what we needed. We need 20 rods. So, 20. Perfect. We'll save the rest of the iron for the next project. Select milestone. And we will throw all of the necessary ingredients. Boom, boom. Hub is upgraded again. I will take these bushes. So now we should have power. Yep. And we are just going to throw all of this in here. Ah, please let me out. That thing is massive. Also, it's really creepy looking. Okay, um... So we need the smelter. Which... We are going to build this over here. And we need copper, so we need to do another scan. Let's see, this is iron, we need copper. Hopefully the copper node is fairly close. Oh, it's 150 meters away. Where is there one here? No. There's only two? Oh boy, okay. That's fine, that's fine. Um, we need another portable miner. So I'm actually going to take this one. I will grab that, pick up the miner, and we'll take this one over to the copper node. Do a thing. Pick up some bushes on our way. Why not? Uh, oh, we need to scan again. Copper. Bush. Yeah, I just pick up as many leaves and sticks as possible on my way over there because we're going to need them. Hey, it's actually right. This actually isn't that far. I'm not not too depressed about that. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. There we go. Now we've got a copper miner. It's always good to build a couple of these. At least from what I can tell, it's good to have a few of them right out the gate. I think three because you do need lime as well. Hopefully there's some pretty close to here. In fact, I think that's a lime deposit over there. Nineteen. Let's get twenty, and then we'll take it and run back. There we go. Twenty. Okay. Now we should be able to run back to the hub. This actually really isn't that far from the hub either. Look at that thing. That's insane. What is that? Looks like a looks like a flying stingray. This game is sick. Okay. This should be pretty close to full. Yeah. We'll grab all that. We just want to keep emptying these out. Okay, so we are going to need to craft copper ingots. So I think we'll just craft all these up right now. I'm not going to craft up all the iron though because we have 28 iron. Um, and I'd prefer to automate that. Shaboopy. And we can craft these bad boys. We'll just craft like 15 of them I think. 16 is fine. What else do we need? What else do we need? Let's see. We need the smelterino. We need bars or rods. So let's make some rods. Rods are super fast to make, so not too worried about it. We'll just craft uh, 15 or 20. We'll do 20. There we go. We're going to end up needing a lot more than this anyway. So, Okay, now we can craft the smelter. So we'll place this probably over here, like somewhere near in between the... Uh, oh, dang it. Yeah, I think we'll place we'll place it like right right here in between the two. And it's in a good position too because now we can just directly connect this with a power line. We need coils first though. So let's grab those bad boys. Bed the bully. We'll just grab a few of them. We don't need all of them right now, but it's good to have them. So we're going to start wanting to produce more stuff. There we go. Got our smelter going. We can, uh, we do not have any more copper. But what we can do is select recipe. We'll do iron. And we will just throw all of our iron in here. And that's going to craft us up some iron. That'll just keep working in the background. We'll go over here and collect the rest of the copper that we have stored up. We probably have about 100 copper now. So this thing has probably stopped working. Losing a little bit of efficiency there, but that's fine. 
totally okay with that. Actually, it's not full yet. Oh, it is full. So yeah, it stopped working. That's okay though. Not too worried about it. Uh, where's the hub? It's over here. Let's go to the hub to make some stuff, to make some more stuff. That'll automate some stuff to make some more stuff. All the things. We're gonna want another smelter. Um, yeah, we're gonna definitely want another smelter, but we also want a constructor. So I'm gonna, I think, work on getting this up and running. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna do the smelter first. We want a second one. Um, so we need copper coils, or we need copper wire, which we should be able to m make what we need. I think. We're just gonna make all the copper wire because that's basically all you need copper for in the beginning is wire and cables and cables just comes from wire so it doesn't hurt to make extra of things okay um we'll go ahead and put the second one like right next to the first one here snap that there we go and we will attach this to not that because we can't we need concrete um Okay, that's actually a good point. Dang. Let's do this. We're just going to manually craft some iron ingots, or not copper ingots then. Because I think we need, we definitely need wire for the next upgrade. I'm not going to craft all of these though. We'll do like 15 for now. 14 and 15. Perfect. Let's see. The hub upgrade 3 is what we want because we want access to concrete. So we need rods and plates which we should have some iron incoming from this smelter right here. Let's see. Yeah, we've got plenty of iron there. We can throw the rest of our iron in here. Yeah, buddy. We'll let that keep doing its thing. We are definitely creating some pollution here, but it's totally fine. Nobody even cares. Uh, we need iron plates. So let's do like 20 of these if we can here. Do 18 and then 20. And we'll just do 20 rods as well. And 20. Perfect. Boom, boom. Ah, we need more copper. Okay. We need more copper wires. We should be able to work that out, no problem. We're just going to craft all the ingots that we have into wires. Wires, wires, wires. More wires. There we go. All the wires. Upgrade, we can do the upgrade for this now. We just gotta throw our ingredients in there. Boom, boom. Upgraded, awesome. Now we should have access to concrete, which we can do a new scan for limestone. Yeah, oh. How far are these? 240. Yeah, the closest one is about 80 meters away. It's not too bad. It's only a little bit of a run. Uh, oh, it's right here. We are going to need another miner for this, though. So, let's see. Let's go back to the equipment workshop, because we're going to need we're gonna need another portable miner. Portable miner, we need plates and rods. Please give me the plates and the rods. We'll just do another, I don't know. Let's just do 20. Yeah, we have 20 there and then we can do eight rods. And we should have some more iron. I wanna kinda of have a stack of at least 20 of each of these items on me at all times if I can. Yeah, we got plenty here. Let's throw the rest of our copper into this as well. So we'll just start smelting copper on this furnace. There we go. Let that do its thing. And we should actually, 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 we should just collect these resources really quick. Yeah. I want this to keep working in the background. Same with the copper one. So we'll take the time to just run over here and grab these bad boys. Boom. That's good. That's real good. Real nice. Yes. Satisfactory. 
I just got this game. I like, was really stoked about it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It is actually like 100% up my alley, though, for real. The the automation and stuff in this is amazing. It makes my little technical brain go wee. Take all these plants. There should be lime right here. Take these plants too. Give me all the plants and the sticks. The sticks and the plants. Uh, we need we need this right now. He's around here. Yep, there he is. Hello, friend. No, please. Don't. No. Not okay. Where is he? Stop. Stop. Stop running. Stop running. Oh, gosh. Those things are the most frustrating. Okay. We should be able to drop our little uh, portable miner onto this limestone now. Let's see. Uh, can I just, like... Wait, can I not? I should be able to drop this here. Oh no, is this deposit, like, it, it's covered by these rocks, huh? Oh, but there's another one right here. Okay, we should be able to drop it here. Yeah. Yeah. Limestone. Oh, man. Dude. Dude, please no. He's gonna bump me. He's gonna boot me. Where is he? There he is. Oh, that's a big boy. It's a big one. I will take the carapace. There. That should be a good little amount to get started with. Literally never played this game before today, Dozer, and I have a problem. I'm like uh, officially addicted. I played it for like five minutes earlier, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, this is this game is gonna be a problem for me." We need concrete. It's going to be a problem in, like, the best way, though. You know what I mean? Um, so let's do a power pole right here. And then we can deconstruct this power line. And we'll just add power lines to this power pole. So we'll do one here. Boom, boom. And then we'll stack that onto there. And now we have two of these. So we should be able to craft both items here boom and that one's out of copper we will take this copper here now we got both of our furnaces up and running oh dear indeed dude oh dear i know i was like i got i got the game and i was like this was a mistake this was I think we need, what was it? It was cables and plates and rods. What else was it? Uh, concrete and sturf. But I think before I do that, I want to make, yeah, the constructor, which is going to require the heavy plates, I think is what they're called. The reinforced plates. Uh, we have plates, we just need screws. So we can make these screws real quick here. Boom, boom, boom. We'll make some reinforced plates. Uh, we can only make one. Is that gonna be enough though? <laughs> Probably not, huh? Yeah, we need two of them, so we need more rods then. <clears throat> Let's just make, what is it? It's a 12 to one on the reinforced plates, right? Or it's a 12, no, it's a 4 to 1, okay. So we should, this should be more than enough. We're going to make like 20 or 30 screws, because I believe it's 12 to 1 on the reinforced plates. Yeah. We'll just make an extra one. Never hurts. And we'll drop off our uh, carapace in the flowers. Carapace. Okay. Uh, constructors. I need constructors. I would like, I think for the first one here, I'm just going to make it connect to this guy. I don't know if you can like directly connect these, but I kind of like watching the conveyor rails. So that's what I'm going to do. 
I'm gonna just make it make it connect through conveyors. Uh, okay, I don't really need that much copper right now, but it's fine. I will gladly take all the copper and the iron. Iron plates, please. That should be enough to connect with some conveyor rails, right? Yeah, or belts. Some of the belts. Boom. Got ourselves a belt. Now we can take this, and I think uh, this is the copper one, right? So I'm just gonna have this make wire. Oh no, this is the iron one. Shoot, I shouldn't have done that. That's okay. We can have this make uh, iron rods. Uh, I'm gonna have this make plates actually. Is this the copper one or is this the iron one? I'm confused now. Hold on. Yeah, this is the iron one. Okay. That's okay. I'm gonna hook a constructor up to both of these anyway. There we go. And this is this is like basically full now. Yeah, we need another one. No worries. Um so this is actively making plates. What do we need for the next hub upgrade? Concrete, cables, and iron plates. So I think I want to make two more constructors if I can. I don't know if our power network will have the capability to do that, but we're going to see. I will take this. Thank you, thank you. Uh, wait, how do, how do I get back up here now? I need to find a jumping point. We should probably also go around and collect the other resources that we have, because no doubt our other, our other portable miners are full. So we're just going to keep collecting on that. Grab all. I think it's right here. Yeah. Yes, yes. All of the iron. We'll just go ahead and stick this copper right in here. Boom. And we'll take the rest of those copper ingots. We'll throw this iron in here and we will take, nope, there's nothing left. Oh, because this is making plates. Let's see, how many plates do we have? 26? Let's, um, let's switch this actually to rods. Yeah. We'll let that do a thing. And it's out of power. This is why. Yeah, I'm gonna use wood this time, it lasts longer. Okay, what do we need again? We need concrete and cables and a lot of iron plates. Okay, never mind. This is no longer making rods. You're making plates indefinitely. We'll take those. I don't even think I needed to do that. Okay, you're making plates. And then we will make another constructor. I mean, I'm just going to convert. Let's see. I'm going to convert our lime into concrete here. Oh, actually, hold on. Pause moment. I need to switch this. Yeah. There we go. Updated the stream info to say satisfactory. I would like it to reflect what I'm actually doing. Uh, can we? Can I craft this, please? There it goes. Crafting, 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 crafting. 
Uh, okay. Wow, that was fast. We ran through all that lime. We'll stack these. Uh, so we should definitely have enough concrete. We just need... Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to make another constructor. I don't believe I'm going to have the spot for this, but what we'll do is turn this on its side. Let's see. Should be able to fit it somewhere in here. Oh, I need reinforced plates. Totally fine. Not a big deal. We can do that. Uh, do we have rods? We have rods, so we'll just make screws. I'm just going to turn all the rods into screws. Reinforced plates are screw expensive. They cost all the screws. Okay, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. Okay, that should be enough. I want to make two constructors if I can, even though I, I don't actually think uh, we're going to have the power capacity for two of them. So what I'll probably do is just throw this one down like right here. And then we can do this to here. Uh, this is gonna require more of these. Can I just like fill this? Yeah, I totally can, okay. Um, three. These go here and then we need another one of these power poles. So let's see if I can put this power pole like right here and disconnect one of these power lines. So we'll disconnect this one and we'll do power pole to power pole. And then this can connect to this one. Wait, what? Oh, I need cables. Ah. should be enough for now there we go okay I'll just manually craft the rest of those into what I need them to be uh, okay this one let's see this one's full so this one can go here and this one can go here and that should connect everything without overloading the system and then we can configure this to make wire that way we have wire being produced so we got our plates, we got our wire, and then all we have to do is like craft rods and cables, essentially. Uh, yeah. We're probably gonna need to refill this with iron. Yeah, it's out, okay. But our miner should have plenty of iron in it, as it stands. Yeah, it does. We'll grab all that. We'll throw it right here into our smelter. Schmelt me the iron, please. And we're going to need to go collect our copper and our lime, actually. Now that I think about it. We'll collect both. We'll do a thing. We'll grab all the stuff. Just do a little resource run. Hopefully, um, I think it's the fifth upgrade for the hub. Gives you access to the miner. The actual, like, mining station. And... It, not just the miner, but also the um, the power hub or whatever it is. I can't remember what it's called. But the, the thing that does the power. That thing. Let's grab all this as well, yeah. We need these. Can I jump up here? Can I jump up here? No? Okay. I'm not, not salty about that at all. There we go. Can I get some more sticks on my way? Yeah, I did that. And a 360 at the same time. What's up? Okay, let's just throw our copper in here really quick. We got copper. We have like a hundred plus copper in our inventory. This is amazing. All right. Uh, what do we need for this? Oh, we are actually like really close. We just need cables so we can do that. I think it's 20, right? Hub upgrade. 
Yeah, it's 20, so we can we can definitely make those. That should be enough. At this point in the game, I don't want to make things if I don't have to. I would rather my systems do it for me. Let's do milestone. Slam a jam of these in here. Shaboopy. Perfect. Let's also go ahead and just make up the rest of our concrete. Making up all the concrete, no worries. Standing here crafting concrete. That's that's how we do it. Boom. Got ourselves like 60 concrete there. Uh, okay, we don't have any new stuff here. Already had those. Yeah, that's actually what we need. Yeah, we definitely want the miner MK1 and the storage containers are going to be super useful. So I think we're going to just go right for um, the next milestone. I'm not even going to I'm not even going to upgrade these systems. And we have plenty of plates, so we will convert this to rods. Tell me it gave me the plates. Okay, it did. Cool. Let's uh let's throw all that in there. This is making wire for us, so we should have more than enough wire. This next hub upgrade is going to cost, we have all the concrete, we just need cables and the rods. The rods are on the way, we can make the cables. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. It's looking absolutely fantastic up in here, just saying. If like this kind of automation in video games doesn't make you happy, I don't I don't know I don't know how to feel about you. I'm gonna be honest. I love I love <laughs> I love it. It's so good. <laughs> it's everything you hope for in life. Okay. Um we can probably take some of the iron out of that and help make the rods is yeah. We are gonna need 75 of those bad boys so we will split this I'll let it do 20 and I'll do 20 and then we'll come back iron rods unfortunately I am just a little bit faster than this machinery is okay uh, we need to do a collection run yeah Let's do that. So we will just throw the iron in here. That way it's doing this. We need to do power. Dang, this ran out of resources quick. But we have 271 leaves that we can throw in there, so that's fine. And we'll run and go collect our copper. And our lime. And we'll just collect more leaves and sticks on the way. Why not? Grab all that. Let that start back up. Please no. Sir, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need you to leave me alone, please. Oh god. He's still coming, isn't he? It's still coming for me. Grab leaves. Grab leaves. Grab leaves. Ah, all the leaves. Okay. We need this. Ah, didn't even get a hundred from the last time we were over here. Yeah, can't wait to see the MK2s. I'm assuming there's an MK2. I haven't gotten that far yet. Okay, let's throw our copper in here. I think this still has some copper that it can be producing, but... Oh, it's out. There we go. No, no, no. You don't stop production ever. Need all the wires and all the rods. Got 26 rods. We're almost there. We'll come over here and just craft some concrete. Crafting more concrete. This is the life. The life that we live. 
living that concrete life. Okay, let's check one more time. I think we just need 75 rods for the hub upgrade five. Yes, we just need 75. So we should have just about enough. Oh, we're too short, come on. Give me one more. There you go, you can do it. There we go, there we go. All the rods, give me the rods. More rods. Milestone. Let's add our bits in here. Upgrade this bad boy. Very good. Now we're gonna want to pick up this miner here. You have mine mark one. So we'll pick that up. We'll throw the rest of the iron in here if we can. Yep. Um, and we got an additional biomass burner, which is awesome. Now we can build the miner MK1. So we'll just slap that right there. I hope. Ah, I have to deconstruct this. Did that wrong. Hold on. We'll do minor MK1, thank you. And we need to turn this, let's see, where's, can we face this the right direction, please? Yes, can I get this lower to the ground maybe? There we go. It's perfect, it's beautiful. Do, do more things, yes, it's very good. Now this will do the things and we can throw a storage container at the end here but first we need to power this so this is probably full is it not it's not we can just throw another power wire right onto that perfect oh we broke the system um, that is okay let's do this that's not what I wanted we're gonna throw some biomass in there and this Still has 61 leaves in it, so that's fine. Um, yeah, let's reconfigure this, actually. We're going to just take this down completely. Uh, okay, let's do one of these right here. And we will do another one right here. And we will connect both of these to this one. So boom, boom. Boom, boom, right here. And we connect, I don't know, we can connect this one here, and then this one can go here. And then we have three more slots, so we can do these two. We need another power pole, uh, which means we need more rods. Hold on. We should have, yeah, we have plenty of rods in here. Yeah, let's do one more power pole here, so we'll just put it right there in between. And we'll connect our remaining machines to that one. So this one and this one. And then this can connect to here. And that should, yep, do a thing that works. Perfect. Perfect. All of our machines are up and running. This is doing the iron ore thing, which is fantastic. It's a bit slow, though, isn't it? Well, no. Okay, it's going. It's going. We're doing good. Happy with that. So now we have the production of iron ore to ingots and ingots to rods completely automated, which is awesome. What's the hub upgrade six gives us a biomass burner. So we're gonna need a hundred rods, a hundred plates and a hundred copper wire. Why? Oh, this is out of biomass. Let's, let's just flip the breaker on that. There we go. Okay, uh, we're gonna we're gonna collect some resources and also grab more sticks, more sticks, more sticks. <laughs> leaves, 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 leaves. Give me all the leaves. Just gonna make this landscape completely barren. I would like all the sticks, please. And the leaves. Preferably sticks. Sticks last longer. But they're a little bit harder to find. That's okay though. I won't complain too much. There we go. We can grab the rest of our limestone. 
Uh, are there any sticks in here? There's no sticks in here. That's fine. There's leaves. More leaves. Leaves and sticks. Sticks and leaves. Okay, give me all these. We're just gonna collect as many of these as we can. Oh, this is this tree. There should be some sticks over here now. No, but there are plenty of leaves. Dang. I want more sticks though. I don't want leaves, I want sticks. Dang, there's not a lot of sticks. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Leaves, 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 leaves. Leaves and sticks. I hope there's a way to automate the, the sticks and leaves thing. Oh. He's coming for me. Where is it? It's back there. It's not coming. It doesn't want none of this. You don't want none, bruh. You don't want none, bro. Alright. The whir of machinery is amazing. Love it. See, this is this is absolutely chucking out resources. That is amazing. Uh, okay, so let's see. Yeah. Oh, we can make biomass. Ooh. Ooh, and the space elevator. What does this do? I'm excited about that. We need plates though. So we're gonna actually have to go and collect some of that iron out of the machine here. That's okay though. We can just. Um, I think just take it out of here, yeah. Should be fine, we'll take 100. That's gonna continue to refill itself anyway. And then this needs to be refilled, I believe. Yeah, it's empty, so we'll fill that up. Oh, okay. Uh, it is out of fuel. We will put 40 sticks in here. I would like to put sticks in there, please. Thank you. Boop. Recharge that sucker. And we'll put those in there. Oh, you can put flowers in these? That's awesome. I'm just gonna store the flowers for now, though. Yeah, okay. Uh, what did we need? We need rods and plates, but we're not gonna make rods because we have the machines doing that for us, so we will make the plates. We need a 100 of those. That's a lot. It's just, just so many plates. All the plates the world has to offer more plates aha a hundred plates I am happy with this outcome let's see how many rods do you have for me 91 we can make the rest of these I think we still have plenty of iron to do that yes 99 and 100 perfect okay hub upgrade 6 Boom, let's go. Give me all the upgrades. I would like an elevator to space. That is what I want. Does this give me a third biomass generator now? No, it just gives me the second one. But we had the ability to make a biomass generator. So what we can do Let's deconstruct these. We're just going to have this run these bits. And we will come over here and we can make some stuff. So let's make uh, some systems over here after we take this guy out because you're going to cause me problems. Okay, well. Where'd it go? Dude, they're so fast. Oh my gosh. Come back here. Come back here. Stop running. Stop running, bro. Can I just like, can, can I tase you just really quick? Just like one time, please. Okay, we're gonna just, can you, what is up with this guy? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's right. I'm the big man on campus here. I'll take that. Okay, let's do 
Uh, we're going to need a minor MK1, which means we need plates. That's fine. It's good because we can put another minor MK1 over here now uh, on this other iron deposit and have that one make plates for us. And then we'll have the one over by the copper deposits make uh, wire and cables. So let's do plates here really quick. I have a feeling that I'm going to need more plates than this. Let's um let's do this. We have the rods. We're going to convert this to making plates for now. Yeah. That way we have more plates. So we will run over here to the copper deposits. The deposits of copper. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Run faster, please. <clears throat> okay, so let's throw a minor MK1 on this. Uh, can I get this closer to the ground? And also, I want the output to be on this side right here. Yeah, like that. We're also going to need a biomass majigger. Biomass burner. So we'll put this over here somewhere. We're going to need more plates. I'm glad I converted it to plates. We also need to install storage containers into these, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Right now I just want to get these systems in place to build the things that we need and then we can work on storing infrastructure for storing anyway. Um, let's see. We do biomass burner, and we will just place this up here, like right. I don't know, like right over here ought to be just fine. There. So we've got our biomass burner. We can put this down, but we need we need concrete. Seriously. I probably should have put the hub like in the middle of these deposits, but you have no way of knowing where all the deposits are at the beginning, so I might inevitably move the hub. Well, actually no, because of the de both of the original biomass burners are connected to this, so that's probably not the greatest idea. For now, we're just going to make all this concrete really quick so we have enough to get our power systems set up. And let's see, how many cables do we have? We have plenty of cables, but we could probably make more. So let's make some more cables as well. Let's just do like, I don't know, like 40 or 50 cables probably. Let's do 50. Yeah, 50 should be good. Okay, we got plenty of concrete, plenty of cables. We should be able to get most of this set up. And then we can come back and do this iron deposit here and the lime deposit. I would like to set up the automation for concrete because it is a little a little annoying to make. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> then we just, all we have to do is basically run back and forth and collect those items. Or we can set up a uh, centralized storage and have everything run through there. But for now, we will put this here. And we will connect this to that, and this to this. Boom, boom. We can put some biomass in here. It's not very much, so let's actually just do a little bit of foliage collecting here. Oh, there's, yeah, there's a bunch of bushes right here. We can grab all this. We'll probably want to make biomass, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's go back and see what the resource cost of that is going to be.
Let's see what the burn rate on this biomass is. I'm interesting. I'm interested to see like where that gets us, if it's gonna last longer than leaves, because like this is already out. I'm sure the wood biomass is probably better, but you know leaves are more abundant, so we're gonna go with that. Let's see. Oh yeah, every ten minutes. Oh, that's gonna last a while. Sick. Okay. Uh, let's do. Let's do production we could use a smelter here so we'll put the the l smelterino right there um is that gonna be are we gonna be able to do this like that no it's not okay hold on let's deconstruct that we will move it so let's put the smelter like right here maybe that should be good that should be good and then we will stick a conveyor into there this oops this can do copper so that's going to create copper and then we can have another constructor here that will do so, uh, i wish i could see let's see maybe right here is that going to be hopefully that's not going to be too weird of a shape nope it's perfect all right and we can have this make wires for us and really, since we don't actually need wires, I mean, we do need wires, but we don't really need them, if that makes sense. Let's do, we need another one of these. Let's connect this to here. Connect that one there. And then we can build a constructor another constructor in here so we're gonna turn this to the side like this see if I can like kind of snap it to the corner there boom we will connect this to conveyors aha uh -huh. we need plates uh, that's a really long conveyor that I cannot build let's go get some plates we should have plenty of plates being made So we're just gonna grab the heck out of these plates. Give me more plates. Ugh. Aha, 126 plates. Um, are we good on biomass? We should make some biomass over here to just throw in these. So let's see, we have, yeah. That ought to last a little while. It's 10 minutes per biomass for leaves, so. Yeah, I'm not, not too terribly worried about it. Let's see. We're going to take these leaves back. We will put these in here. Excuse you. Thank you. And then we will convert the rest of these leaves into biomass. That's going to give us a super fat runtime. So we got another 65 here. We can throw that into the second one because even though we don't actually need, in fact, we're not going to throw it into this one for right now. We're just going to let that run. Once we need it, we will use it. We're going to need it for the second, uh, the second system. So, and I think I'm going to change the change the shape of that or the layout of it a little bit. But for right now, I just want to finish working on this because it's a little farther away. So it's kind of more of a pain to deal with. Um, no, we need these. There we go. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let me add these to six. Um, I guess we can make this eight. And special, this is space elevator, I don't want that. I want storage containers, will be nine, okay. So this is going to create cables for us. That'll be cables. And then we will have a container here at the end. And I don't believe containers require any kind of power to, to run properly. That is not going to work, is it? No, it's not. Let's deconstruct this. We're going to move it. Um, nine? There. We'll move this over to like right here. I think it's going to be good. Yeah. And then that can connect to there. And this will all go into the storage container. We can essentially just leave this running. And it will make all of our cables for us. 
So we've got cable production automated. Now we can come over here and work on the iron situation. So let's see. I think what I want to do is I'm just going to deconstruct literally all of this. Deconstruct that. And we'll deconstruct this and this and this here. We're going to use one of these biomass generators per section so let's see this is not what I wanted there we go uh, nope that's also not what I wanted I want this there it is I'm gonna have this go out that way uh, like that probably yeah and then we'll have another one here which we need a miner for so let's do that Hopefully we have the resources for it. We totally do. Let's make another one of these. Boom. Okay. So we've got that. We can go back and build ourselves a new miner. That's going to be on this one here. Boom. And we're going to need smelters hooked up to each one of these. So let's do one here. And we will do one here. That's the wrong direction. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be not working. Okay, hold on. We need to change that around. Uh, that's a constructor. There we go, smelter. Let's do, we're just gonna kind of, actually, I think we can turn this one inward a little bit kind of create like a block almost if I can get this in the right spot there we go okay so this will connect to here boom boom we'll set this to make iron so that's gonna create iron ingots for us this is gonna essentially be the same so we'll do there this is also gonna create iron ingots we will put let's see a power line here and we will also put one here this one is going to connect to this one and this one's going to connect to that one there and then like this this one can go here this can go here and that one can go there perfect now we just need constructors for these so let's see, I think this one can actually just go right here. Or maybe, hmm. Uh, if I spin this around like this. No, that's kind of in the way. Actually, maybe I will face this like that. Can I, this is gonna be janky, hold on. Um. If I put this here, can this actually reach? It totally can. Nice. Okay. So that'll be our constructor for, let's say, iron plates. So this whole system is going to make iron plates. And we will connect that to this power line. And then this system here, let's do a constructor. We need, okay, we need, hold on. We need screws. Oh, actually, we have screws. We can just make yeah, the reinforced plates that we need. There. Now we've got five reinforced plates. Should be enough to get everything that we need done. Uh, I kind of want this one to curve in this way. Maybe not, actually. Maybe we'll just make this as head on as possible. Lurk, dude. Lurking hard. There. And then we will connect this to this power line. That should be 404. Yep. This one is going to make rods. So we got plates and rods, and then we just need two storage containers, which we need rods for.
Uh, I guess we can set up the storage container on this one first, since this is going to be where our rods are going. So we just need six of these, I think. Wait. Wait, didn't we? We need six of these? We need ten of these. We need ten rods. There we go. Okay, now I've got all the rods. So let's see. This one I do want to turn in, so I think we'll just turn it like this. Uh, if I can, oh, maybe that'll work actually. And then we just need a conveyor that goes into here. Is that going to be a problem? Nope. Apparently it's not. It's never a problem. Just as long as the conveyor works, that's all that matters. Let's see, what do we need for this? Uh, we need more rods. Let's um let's let this make the rods and then we will go and grab our lime. So yeah, we should have yep, a hundred lime just chilling here. We're gonna need more concrete. I can already feel it. Uh where is our concrete levels at? You'll get twenty three concrete. We're doing okay actually. It's not too bad. We're just going to keep collecting leaves and sticks, sticks and leaves, as we run back and forth here to collect all of our valuable materials. Valuable. There we go. Okay, so we should have some rods in here, I think. Yeah, we got 20. That's great. That should be more than enough to finish this last storage container, and then we can work on getting the next upgrade for our hub let's see how do I want this to sit because this is going to be awkward um, yeah maybe like that and then we will do boom that's our storage container everything you ever hoped it would be I'm going to take these out of here though Oh, uh, no power. Oh, I didn't, I never connected power to this. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, hold on. Where is, wait, how does this not have power then? <gasps> no, did I kill the breaker? No, it just doesn't have fuel. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we can make more biomass for this here. Um, we'll probably split it though, honestly. Okay, uh, let's just do biomass wood as well. There we go. Oh, it's like essentially the same thing. Okay, that makes sense now that I think about it. Right, biomass. Yeah, so we'll split this. We'll put 70 in here. And then we'll go back to our copper mine and put the rest of the biomass in there so it's all split evenly. They should all have the same time frame on them at that point. This thing is still running like a champ. Like an absolute legend. Uh, where are you at with biomass? Uh, it's still got 79 in it, so I'm going to keep this actually on me. They all have pretty similar amounts of biomass in them. Um, wait, why is this not a thing that's happening? No power. Oh, pff, I never connected this to power. There, so we have been not making cables this whole time. That's totally fine. Uh, I think what we'll do, do we have, we do, we have 300. So we'll just take the 400 wire that we have <laughs> and go back over here. Let's get the heck out of here. All right, I need to see what the next upgrade to our hub is gonna cost. I need more automation in my life, please. All of the automation. It's going to be so good. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. Wait, so I can do... Oh. Logistics, conveyor splitter. Oh, that's... What I'm talking about. Hold on now, what is this, man? 
The molecular analysis machine is used to analyze new and exotic materials found on alien planets. R&D will assist pioneers through the MAM to turn any valuable data into usable research options and new technologies. That's interesting. Uh, I don't know what I want to do then because I'm like, oh, copper sheets. The assembler crafts two parts into another part. Ooh, that's awesome. Okay, what is obstacle clearing? Chainsaw. Ooh, hmm. Flora that is too difficult to remove by hand. Solid biofuel. Oh. Dang. Okay, we got jump pads and the jelly landing pad, which is fine. Uh, build gun upgrade customizer. This build gun software upgrade adds a new tab to the build menu. The customizer. From here, pioneers have access to color selection. Ooh. As well as material and pattern options. That's pretty cool actually awesome shop going the extra kilometer we have set aside special bonus milestones and rewards get your coupons okay awesome sink got access re excess resources fear not for fix it does not waste the newly developed awesome sink turns any useful part straight into research data okay cool uh what is this Stackable conveyor poles, support for conveyor belts. Okay, so this is just more conveyor stuff. I think we're gonna go for tier one stuff. Probably, hmm, actually, I kind of think I want obstacle clearing, which is gonna require, let's see. So we need 100 concrete, 100 cables, and, a, and 500 screws, holy cow. Okay, uh, that's a lot. Let's make rods. So we need cables, screws, and rods. Because I really want to be able to like clear areas. And then I think we'll come back and get the uh, platforms or whatever. The, the foundations is probably going to be a good place to start. So we're just going to craft these screws until we have 500. Soon enough we'll be able to split and do all that stuff, but for right now I'm just going to craft these. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, I have a hundred copper ore just sitting in my inventory. Totally fine. Okay, so we've got 348 screws, and let's see, we've got 85 more rods here, that'll be useful. Where are we at? We've got 100 plates. Um, how is the biomass doing? So we got 46 in that one and 39, so we're still doing pretty good on biomass. Let's go ahead and collect the rest of our lime, because I know this is probably full. I need to set up uh, biomass generator and stuff over here, but let's see, yeah, this is this is full. Uh, I think we're just gonna go up on this side because the copper is right there. Yeah, I can't wait to be able to cut these trees down. That's gonna give us some resources that we desperately need. I'm tired of tired of collecting leaves. Let me tell you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, uh, we still got 58 biomass in there. Okay. I don't know why it made that sound. That was like a I stopped working sound, but it's fine. Um, okay, so we've got 110 of the cables. So we're doing good there. I'm just gonna collect some more leaves here. Get all those. Yep. 
I think I'm going to move the hub eventually to right here. This big open space looks really good for the hub. Because this is kind of on the edge of a little cliff face and I don't like that. I don't want it to be this way, okay? I want it to be all special and stuff. Okay, so we just need the screws. Let's see. Right? I think we just need screws for it's a tier 2 obstacle clearing. Uh, concrete and screws. Yeah. So we can make those. Let's just stand here and make a bajillion concrete. Oh, uh, we're going to actually get pretty close to having the 100 concrete that we need right out the gate, which is awesome. But I might, well, actually, no. I think I'm just going to go straight for the upgrade, and then we'll work on getting our lime uh, set up. Let's do screws. We just need 500 screws. I'm not going to make more than 500. Oh, come on, we're so close. 96, there's 500. 500 screws. That would, that took a little minute there. Let's go back down here and just grab the rest of the lime that we need. I could also like manually mine lime, but um, I'm not going to. I will never manually mine anything ever again if I don't have to. I feel like that's one of those things, right? Like if you are manually mining things, you are making mistakes in life. Oh, that's cool. There's a, an upper story to this. Nice. I like that. Okay. Uh, let's make the rest of this concrete. We just need a hundred, but I'm going to make all the concrete that I can. And we'll make some more biomass while we're here. Okay. And biomass. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, can I make, yes, I can make wood biomass as well. Sick. All right, uh, we're gonna store these carapaces, flower petals. Let's go, oh, we should probably put the copper in the copper place, but that's okay, we'll just do this first. Let's see, tier two, obstacle clearing. Select that, made all these resources, perfect. Launch pod. What does that do? Launch pod? Does it do stuff? Hey, wait, where are you going? Oh. Okay. Bye then. See you later. Thanks. So wait, do I just get that or do I have to make it? I probably have to make it, huh? Let's see. Yeah, the chainsaw, bruh. Uh, what do we need? We need reinforced iron plates, 160 screws, and some cables. Okay. That's because, like, I haven't made enough screws. I'm getting real tired of making screws. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to need to not have to make these anymore, which we're going to set up here pretty soon once we get our lime deposit up and running. That's that's my next goal is making screws automatically I'm tired of it but I want this chainsaw first so that's the thing <laughs> and I would also like foundations actually but the foundations might have to wait a minute okay we got 160 screws uh, what else did this give active milestones select milestones tier 2 what else did we get for this? Oh, solid biofuel and inventory slots. Cool. Okay, what else do we need? So, 
We need more cables, which we definitely have, and we need reinforced plates, which we can definitely make. Um, let's just make a few of these. We're gonna have to make more screws after this, but that's totally fine. Let's just make 10, 9, and 10. That should be more than enough. And then we'll make the rest of these screws that we're needing. We need 160 of these. Yeah, we should have more than enough rods for this. I'm gonna chop down all the trees, I'm telling you right now. That's what's gonna happen. All right, we got 160 screws and we just need some cables, which actually I can just make right here. I'm not even gonna go over there right now. Let's just make 100 cables. That way we have a hundred, a hundred of them, and we'll be golden. There we go. All right. Ah, we need more rods. Sweet. Now we can craft the chainsaw. Yes, chainsaw. Gimme, gimme. This thing is sweet, bro. About to, about to get crazy up in here. Hold on, let's go over to these trees. We got a tree line here. This tree line is about to go bye bye. No more trees. Oh wait, I need solid biomass for this. Dang it. Ah. It's always something. Okay. Hold on. This is fine. We can we can do solid biomass, I think. I hope. I'm going to be really sad if I can't make this. I really want this chainsaw to work. All right. Uh, solid biomass, tell me. Yes, we can make 72. Oh my gosh. This actually takes quite a bit of work to make solid biomass. It's 10, 10 work for this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, 32. I'm just gonna make all the solid biomass that I can. It's uh, apparently the most efficient, so might as well. Oh, solid biofuel is what it is. Biomass. Ha. <laughs> I don't know words good. That's fine. Okay. So now this should be working, right? It looks like it's working. It's making noises like it's working. Can I chop down trees now? I'm like really excited about chopping down trees. I need... Yes. Yes. I'll pick up these leaves. Chopping trees. I get resources for this, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. Loving it. Loving this right now. Just gonna chop down trees. Let's go. Alright, we can put this away now. <laughs> this is fine. We will equip our uh, our pokey device again. Our Pokenator 5000. And we will collect our lime as well. This is the next thing that we need to work on. I need to fix this up. So it's actually... I think we can pick this up and start working on it. Um... We'll cue that. Uh, we're going to need power first, so a biomass burner is definitely going to be a necessity. Let's see. I think I'm just going to put the biomass burner like out here somewhere, so that can go there. And then we will do production uh, miner MK1. Oh, we're short concrete. 
That's all right. Let's go grab. Let's go make the rest of this concrete really quick. It should give us everything that we need to set up a new system. Why is this red? Oh no, it's out of fuel. That's okay. We have we have solid biofuel now. We're just absolute monsters. Uh, let's put that in there. There. How much does this have left? I'm gonna take this biomass back and we'll split that. Put this in here. Yeah. 2.67 per minute. Uh, can I sleep? Wait, there's beds in here. Can I sleep now? No, I cannot sleep. Uh, there's a mini game in here. That's cool. It's super interesting. Okay, let's. Yeah, we're just going to make all the biomass and we'll worry about making the solid biofuel later, though. Right now, I'm not crazy worried about it. But I would like to have the biomass available. Holy cow, this is filling up my inventory rather quickly. Okay. Uh, let's just drop our biomass in here. So can we, like, yeah. Perfect. And then we will also make the rest of our concrete here. I do not want to make these wires or cables, so I'm actually going to take all this copper back to the copper mines and see if I can't throw it in there. <clears throat> there we go. Got our concrete. Good there. Let's go back to the copper mines real quick and then we will fix up the lime deposits. That way we have all three of the essential items we need being mined automatically and at least the basic things being created. That's that's the important part. Let's uh can I put I can't. Okay. Oof. It, this thing is producing so rapidly. Uh, I'm going to take this biomass back and I'm going to put this solid biofuel in here. Okay. Um, let's actually we'll split this. We'll put this in here. I don't want to have to come back and fill this up for a while. And we will grab the cables while we're here. Yeah, take all of those. Thank you. Okay, let's go to, let's go actually over here. We're going to grab the rods and plates that we have over here. That way we don't, uh, we don't have to keep going for resources as we're building this next project. I think it's going to be the best, the best option. So we're just going to stock up on everything that we can stock up on. Yeah, take those. We got tons of plates. We just need rods now. Can I get over here? Thank you. Uh, yep, we have 100 rods in there, so we got 165 rods. We'll jump down here and go set up our little smelty boy. Oh, there's another lime deposit over there. It's pretty large. That's cool. Uh, okay, so let's do... Nope, nope. Um, I would like this to not face against the wall. Can we turn this this way? Yes, so that'll go there. We're gonna need a one of these bad boys. Yep, and we will connect this here, and this will get connected to that just to get that project started. It is mining the limestone. Perfect. Uh, we need biofuel in here. Let's just split it. Perfect. Four per minute. Let's just put, put the rest in there. Yeah, we're going to put all of it in there. Okay, and then we can do our smelter. Wait, no, this isn't going to require a smelter, is it? This is just going to require a constructor. That's nice. Um, let's just throw this right here. It should be good. 
And then we will connect this with a conveyor rail to here. That's good. And we can make concrete indefinitely. Make all the concrete, please. Perfect. And we will actually put a storage container in here as well. That way I don't max out at 100. Let's, we're gonna turn this a little bit. I'm gonna scooch it like so and connect the corners if I can. That should be good. Boom. Boom. There. Now we have a storage container for our concrete. Perfect. Love that. That's beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> so I think what I want to do now that we have that up and running is uh, just make sure I connected this. Yes. We connected that to power. I kind of want to grab uh, another upgrade. So let's see what we can do. Let's see. I kind of want to go with base building. Hmm. It's either going to be base building or logistics. Like conveyor merger, conveyor splitter would be really nice. This field research give us some stuff that I don't really worry too much about. Yeah, let's do, uh, dang, we actually have all the materials that we need for essentially both of these. Let's see, so it's going to take 100, 100, so 250 of plates and rods, and then 300 copper and 200 concrete. We're basically waiting on the concrete, so we can make the copper stuff right now. I'm just going to craft out the rest of this. We're essentially just letting things build up right now. So it doesn't hurt to craft the rest of this copper ore that we have sitting in our inventory. It's not getting any use. Only a hundred more to go. No worries. Doing a thing. It's looking great. We're almost there. <laughs> this is, oh boy. Uh, wait, we have iron in our inventory too? Oh no, we better craft that up as well. Yeah, we might as well craft the iron up. We're just gonna craft up everything that we can that's in our inventory that's not gonna get, cause we're gonna have no space in either of the, in either of the smelteries for this. So we might as well just craft it. Oh, so close, so close. Boom. And then we can craft the iron as well. It'll only take a couple seconds. Iron, 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 iron. Give me more iron. And six more. Almost done. Getting this iron out of our inventory. There we go. We'll craft up the rest of the wires that we need. I think we needed 300 wire.
So we're at 275. I'm just going to craft up the rest of the stack. There we go. Okay, so we should be able to do, I think it was logistics. Yeah, we'll get logistics out of the way. So we'll do boom, boom. Good to go. Boom, combine you. There we go. Send that off. It's going to take it a little bit, but that's okay. Um, oh, these are out of fuel. Very nice. Oh, I didn't know you didn't have to hold this. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is just have it craft biofuel here for a second. What I kind of want to do is, um, like I mentioned, vertical. So I kind of want to set our crafting up in a way that is vertical um, for some things. That way it's kind of stacked and it's taking up less space. I don't know how I'm going to get up to where I need to be to get there, but you know, we'll, we'll figure that out. Can I fly? Is there a way to fly? They have jetpacks. They probably do. Oh my gosh. If I leave this, no, it does not. Okay. I figured that would be the case, but you know, never hurts to check. Okay, so we should have enough solid biofuel. To get these up and running again, let's see. Yeah, we will split this. 36 in there, 36 in there, that's real good. We can throw, I think the, the rest of these petals and leaves and stuff in here, yeah. Put those in there, put those in there. Uh, do we have anything else that we don't really need in here? Is there a way to sort this? Yeah, there we go. Okay, um, so that's doing a thing. It's gonna take it a second here. How, does it tell you how long it takes? Pod launched, but it doesn't say like when it'll be. Oh, pod will return in a minute and a half. Okay, so while we're while we're just waiting, I just kind of want to look around. Let's see. Oh, I think we actually looked at all of these. Yeah. Yeah. What's a rotor do? Oh, I think these are just more like parts that you're gonna need for things. Smart plating, copper sheets, the assembler, which crafts two parts into one item. Tier one. Yeah, I really want base building, and uh, I wouldn't mind having the extra hand slot too, so field research is definitely not a problem. I want to get screws up and running first though, so I think I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to do this, which means we need to collect rods and concrete. We should have, yeah, we got plenty of rods coming in. But we definitely need more concrete. We're going to need, I think it was 100 concrete. take a look at where our concrete production is at 89 not bad I think that's all the concrete that we need for this next launch and that's gonna be coming in in like 22 seconds here so how are we doing we have plenty of cables so I'm really not even gonna bother collecting cables but I just kind of want to see where our stockpile is at and make sure that we have uh, biofuel available in here Yeah, it's still got 10 in there. should be all right. Do we have any on deck? No, we do not. That's fine. That's fine. We can come back. Got 174 cables in here. Brilliant. Yeah, what I'm thinking is I'm going to stack these things on top of each other. And they do... Oh, they have ladders on the side of them, so you can actually just climb up. That's pretty epic, actually. And here comes the pod landing in a very awkward fashion. 
Yes, land, sir. I'm gonna need you to hurry up. Objective, build the space elevator. What does that even do? Is that like a, I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna throw any judgments down, but I might try and build that. Uh, let's see. Oh, we need 200 concrete and 100 rods. So, let's see, we should be pretty close to 100 rods. Yeah, definitely. I'm just, I'm just curious. Let's go into, no, wait, what? Ew, why is it doing that? Hold on. There it goes. It was trying to communicate for some reason. Uh, special, I believe. Space elevator requires de deliveries of special project parts to complete phases of project assembly. Completing phases in the space elevator will unlock new tiers in the hub terminal. Oh, okay. Well, we have tier two unlocked, so I don't think we really need to go that route yet. And oh my gosh, it's a lot of resources. Look at all that concrete and stuff. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a big boy project. We're not big boys yet. We're still babies. Um, can it, yeah, equip that. Thank you. Just gonna no. Oh, I'm out of solid biomass. Okay, we'll just a quick we'll equip uh, this again just in case, just in case we need to give somebody a little shock. Yeah, we're gonna have to kind of just let that run for a minute. Let's go, um, let's make some solid biomass or biofuel. And then I might wanna rework these again, if I'm being totally honest. Let's see, what do we need for this? Yeah, we just need the concrete. We only need, we need 55 more concrete, which isn't too bad. Let's take, um, the rest of this business out of here and we will just craft some biomass or biofuel here for a minute then we can uh, once we're done crafting the biofuel we can run around and resupply everything resupply all the goodies Dude, this stuff takes so long to make. Maybe we should set up a system to make this stuff. Hmm. Yeah, because I don't really want to stand here and craft this. That's That sounds like a great idea, actually. Let's um, put all of this away. We have some biomass here. Let's, let's deliver that. Uh, how much do we have in here still? Well, we still got 30 in these, so we're good there, but the copper, the copper miner is gonna need some for sure, and we might as well just deliver the other half of it to the limestone mine. I'm kinda curious as to how long, like uh, when will these deposits run out I wonder they seem quite large so I don't know we can collect our concrete while we're here as well we'll just give it the extra second or two while we fill this with biofuel Take the concrete, we got 27. We're close, we only need like 30 more. Not too bad. All right, let's talk about, let's talk about making a biofuel system. Cause I do not want to continue to craft that. It takes forever to craft and that is not the life that I'm trying to live, let me tell you. Um, so constructor, let's just, hmm. Let's throw a constructor down like right here, I guess, and we'll see what this system is gonna look like. So configure, yeah, we can essentially turn, oof, 
that's the question. Maybe we'll just do the production of the biofuel part for right now. Yeah. Um, does this have any room on the line? No, it doesn't, but this doesn't either. Dang. Uh, okay, so we're gonna need... Hmm. Let's just put one here, and then we will deconstruct this line and reattach it to here, and then we'll do another one to there, like so. There. That way this thing can craft biofuel for us. Um, it's not going to be able to hold all this, though. I'm almost positive. It's only going to be able to hold eight. That's the maximum that this can hold. Okay, we're going to need a storage container. So let's do, this is the input side, so storage container. Is that going to work? Uh, no, that's a weird spot. We need to change that. Nine storage container. Can I stack this on top of here? Like if I go up here, will it allow me to stack it? This is my question. Get up here. I want to put this on here. I cannot. I probably need platforms for that. That's okay though. Uh, what we'll do is we'll stick this here right next to this guy. So let's, let's step back a little bit. We're going to set that right up next to it. And we'll just turn it straight around. Boop. Like so. And then we can stick all of our biomass in there. Let's just grab all the biomass. There we go. I think we'll just manually craft the biomass for now, and we'll have this run into here. So that'll do a thing. Let's do biomass. That's gonna come out there, and then we can have this just turn around and return the crafted biofuel into the container. So it'll just be like kind of like a closed loop, right? Biomass comes out, goes in, crafts biofuel which is actually much faster than if you do it on your own and then that biofuel comes out the other end and goes right back into this container perfect that is what I like to see wait what no hold on now can I is there like a way for me to set this to where it doesn't if I can I move these to the end here and it will grab those first is that the way this functions hold on let me take uh, yeah I need these back um, I, I want the, bo the biofuel <laughs> dang it I can't get that one I don't think Uh, let me pull this out. Dang, I might have to deconstruct this really quick. Hold on. We'll just do that, and then we will do constructor. Shoot, I should have just deconstructed this. I don't know what I was thinking. There we go. Okay, now can I reattach this? And this is going to continue to loop, right? Yeah. Oh, I can stand on these and they move me. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> Completely uh, useless information, but still fun. Okay, so theoretically, if I put biomass in here now, it's not going to take the biomass, right? Or the biofuel, it's going to take the biomass. Yeah, so it'll always take what's at the end of the container first. Perfect. And then if I have to end up deconstructing that, then that's fine. We can do that. 
So I think what I'm going to do is just go around and cut down some trees to gather some more resources while we wait for concrete. Since we have the biofuel to do it, might as well cut down them trees. Yes. And collect sticks and stuff on the way, might as well. Never hurts. I don't know why I did that. I did not want to waste my resources on that. Oh yeah, we're stacking leaves now. Sweet stacks of leaves. Oh, it's looking good. I like it. I like it a lot. Just gonna take that down and then take this one, maybe, maybe. Uh, maybe. Can I? Yeah, there we go. I don't know how to aim. This is fine. Let's see. How much concrete do we have now? Oh, we have all the concrete that I need to get our next, our next upgrade, which will give us platforms. Yay, platforms. This is what we need. Uh, I think we kind of need the platforms anyway to build vertically because I'm pretty sure like it's not letting me stack these. So I think we have to have um, a base in between them in order to do so. Let's see, base building. Yeah, I think foundations, buildings on top of the foundation are adjusted to a grid to make it easier to line them up to each other. Oh, that's cool. And then they got ramps and walls and stuff. Provides a good overview, which makes factory construction easier. Oh, that's going to be useful. Okay, let's go ahead and, yeah. Oh, what do you mean I'm short rods? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. It's okay. We have plenty of rods. It's fine. Uh, rods. There we go. Launch. Okay, let's do... Oh yeah, making biofuel. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. Yeah, I just want to stack up as much biofuel as possible. So we're just going to take all this biomass or all these leaves and wood, convert it into biomass, and throw it into the biofuel generator, and that will keep us fueled up essentially forever, at least. I mean, with limited uh, interference from us, right? We will have to periodically collect leaves and wood, but um, I think this will last us quite a while. Got like four stacks of biomass, so that's cool. Let's see. Let's go ahead and throw these in here. So we'll just do this, and we will stack these all at the bottom. Can we sort these? Oh, dang it. I want these to be down here. And this has not been creating biofuel because I did not, oh man, I did not reconnect the power line. That's my bad. Let's do that. There we go. Now that should continue. Um, oh, we have to tell it to make biofuel as well. Yeah, there. Cool. Now we should be producing biofuel. Um, okay, let's take a look at not that uh, foundations. Let's take a look at foundations here. What do these cost? So these are concrete and plates. I have one. So these are the foundations. Uh, I don't. Hmm. Okay, I want to see if I can like stack this a little bit. Let's
let's see. We're going to deconstruct some of this stuff here. Deconstruct that. Deconstruct this. And this. And that. Okay. So, let's also do this here. Uh, that is not what I wanted. Deconstruct this conveyor. Okay. Let's build a foundation. So let's take a look. I want this to come out. Can I stick this on a foundation also? It sounds like it's going to be amazing. But I think what we'll do is just try to line this up with that grid as best as possible. So like that. And then we can do, let's see, we'll do one here. Then we'll snap another one to this one. Yeah, we'll just make a big old foundation here for us. Oof. Oof, this takes concrete. Okay. Uh, we need this guy. Oh, but you can like really stack. Okay, you can really just kind of cram these in here. So let's do... Let's actually do it like this. Oh, Let's do it like this. We're going to flip the... Oh, it flips on a 90 degree angle when it's like this. Okay. So we'll do... Now we'll put that here. And then we can connect this here like so. So that'll do its thing. And then we will connect this to power here, just like that. So that's our first one. We got iron ingots being produced there. And then we can take the iron ingots and I kind of want to see. Oh, wait, we don't have splitters yet, do we? Organization, logistics. Oh, we do, we do. Um, so we can do maybe a conveyor splitter what is that going to take yeah it's not too bad actually so let's see if we do a conveyor into here so we'll do conveyor splitter here run a conveyor into that so that can go right into this guy here why uh, what 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 <laughs> wait 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 okay <laughs> We're gonna have to deconstruct this now, dang it. Uh, okay, uh, actually, can I like, can I just start this off and then, no, okay. Um, let's do, let's try this again. We'll do conveyor splitter, cause I'd like this to make more than one item if I can. So let's just do, that lines up, so that's good. And then we will run the conveyor rail straight across. Oh, oh, this is the input. Okay, I see what I did wrong. I see, I see. Let's do that again then. Uh, conveyor splitter. And we're gonna have to spin this. There's the input side, okay. So we can just, we can actually get this close up to here again. Like so. That way we only have to have essentially one rail. And then we can split this off, so we'll do hmm, constructors. Is this going to be lined up right here? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll do a constructor here. And then we can do a constructor. here he thinks or can we even do that uh, we do not have the parts for that that's okay let's just for now we'll set this up like that and then we can take this this one will be our rods because I think that's what we were making last in this system so that'll connect to here. Yeah. And we are going to need 
more reinforced plates. We're also gonna need more concrete, so let's actually go grab that first. How much biofuel does this have left? It's got 15 in it, we could be all right, okay. Uh, so we got 87 concrete there, which means we can extend our factory a little bit more. So I kind of want to see if I can fit all of this into one, one factory. So let's do this. So we got that producing those. Let's um let's go to foundations. We're gonna put down some new foundations on the side here. So we'll do foundation here. We'll extend this factory out just a little bit. That's perfect. So this one's creating rods, and I want this to create screws. That's a biomass burner. Let's do constructor. Um, maybe we do, man, I could really use that outpost or whatever it is. Um, can't afford, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Not surprising. Okay, let's take as many of these rods as we can. We're gonna go make some screws and throw together plates. Uh, do we have, we do not have screws. So let's just let this craft real quick. We're gonna craft a bunch of screws so we can make ourselves some reinforced plates. want to be able to make like 10 plates we have plenty of rods so it's not a big deal to throw it together you know a bajillion screws or whatever there we go got our plates now let's get our constructor out here there we go and we will set this bad boy right here I think uh, I would like it to be kind of cornered with this if I can I feel like that's not really necessary I could probably come pack this more but you know I'm still learning so we're gonna just go with it let's Let's widen the base of our factory a little bit as well. So we'll put down a few more foundations here at the bottom. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. Okay, and this one is gonna need to be connected to a new pole. So what we'll do is stick one here. We'll deconstruct this wire like that. Connect this to here. That's going to be the fourth one, and then this will have these two on it. Okay, and then this can make screws. So I want this to construct screws for me. That's perfect. Yeah, so that's going to make screws. And then we'll make one here that makes plates or makes just rods, actually. I think is going to be a good idea. So this will be like all rods and screws, and the other one can be plates and stuff. So we'll do yeah one here, and then we will stick this one here, like that. So that's gonna supply that, and we will connect to this. I like how he flips the tool. <laughs> that's awesome. This guy's a G, a straight boss. Okay, so this one's just gonna flat out create rods, and we overburdened our system. Uh, oof, oof, uh, uh, biomass burner, oh, 
I need plates for this. We have plates though. We should be good. Let me grab this here. Yeah, oh yeah, we have plenty of plates. Can I take all of these? Yeah. Okay. Um, wait, this one is out of fuel, so we will refuel that. Wait, is this, so is this not overburdened then? Can I just, no, no, the fuse is broken. Okay, so we do need another biomass burger. Let's see. Um, I wonder if it would be a good idea to set this up on its own power supply. Like if we stuck a power supply like right in the middle here, or maybe we put it on the edge. I'll give it, just give it some space like right here and then we can put these and just make this whole thing internal we'll put two of these in here so this one will connect to here and then let's deconstruct all of this so we'll do you know, this can go this can go and then this can go, which will get rid of all those wires. And then we can reconnect these wires through here. So let's just connect these two so we know that that's how that's going to work. Connect one to here, connect this one to here. That's going to be four of four. And then this one can be connected here. And they should all retain their memory, right? Like they know what they're doing. Yeah, okay. And then we will put some biofuel in here. So let's grab that. We should have, what? What? Why you know make biofuel good? Uh, wait, well, hold on now. Let's flip that. We're gonna split this a few times. I do not want 50 of this in here. I'm gonna put 25 in there and 25 in here. I don't know why this is not. Do I need to like deconstruct this and reconstruct it so that it's all set up again? Yeah, yeah, there it goes. Okay. So they should now be storing the biofuel. And the biomass is at the bottom most, so it'll it'll automatically produce. We can stick some biofuel in here. Um, yeah, we'll just stick 50 in there. And that's going to run this whole system. So these are all functioning. Now we just need to extend these base plates a little bit. And I think we can merge this all back into one. Hmm, that rock is going to be in the way. That makes me a little sad, not gonna lie. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that rock is super in the way. Makes the whole thing look weird. Great. Let's do. Can I do logistics and a conveyor merger? Because it would be cool if we could, this has two inputs, right? Oh wait, this has three inputs. Yeah, it's got three of them. So let's just do it like this. We'll have the output stick out right here. Let's say we put this, oh, uh, it won't snap to the grid because of the way this is. Okay, hold on. We need to deconstruct these. I think I'm gonna just make these a little bit taller. Um, maybe the four meter ones, foundations, four meter foundation. If we put this, wait, can I like, ugh. Toggle build mode. What does that do? Zoop. What does zoop mean? Vertical? Um, dang. Uh, yeah, it won't let me put this above. Because it wants to snap to this grid. Hmm.
maybe what we do then is put the merger here. This is going to be a little bit janky. Uh, so we can put the merger here. And we'll have the output come out that side. So that'll be, okay, there's the output right there. We will put this rail in here. And this one will come around here. So if we can just swoop that into there. No? Oh, okay, yeah, that totally worked. And this isn't affected by, okay, well, just as long as it works. I'm not complaining. Um, and then we can make another foundation that'll hold the, so let's do, uh, let's do a few of them here, let's see. Wait, did it not make the previous one? It didn't. We'll do foundations all right here. Foundation, and then we'll do another one here. Um, yeah, we'll do one right here. And then we can put a storage container in here. So, nine, I need that. Let's see. Um, I need this to be like up here somewhere. Right there, preferably, okay. You can take the output and input it into the storage container and that should merge all of the screws and rods into one output. Can I configure this? No. But it is taking these. Okay, yeah, it's, it's splitting them now. Cool. So this is containing all of that. Nice. Can we make a wall here so this like looks fancy? Walls. Let's see. Basic wall 4 meters. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's gonna look real nice on the outside. Kind of janky on the inside. Totally fine. We don't. We don't. Um, oh, oh no. I'm gonna have to move this over, aren't I? Okay, wait. Maybe I deconstruct this and just move it over. Constructor. Can I? Let's see. Oh. Wait. Ah, man. It's got to be right there. Yeah, it will not. Uh, hold on a second, guys. I'll be right back.
Oh, I'm back, I'm back. Sorry, had a emergency bathroom break. Stuff happens. Uh, okay, so what we can do is we'll just reconnect this. So we'll do here. Wait, is this already functioning again? Um, yeah, I think this one was just making rods, right? So let's see. Or wait, did it stop doing... Hold on now. Oh, actually, you know what? I kind of want to try this. Let's see if we can do this. Let's deconstruct these bits. And we'll try to reconstruct this and see if we can scooch it. It's still going to stick out. Okay, but that's all right. We'll just have to extend the platform a bit. But at least this is more straight, actually, now that I'm now that I'm seeing it here. And maybe this will even connect more properly. Well, no, it still runs through everything, but that's fine. Totally fine with that. Uh, okay, and then this needs to be connected to the power grid again. Let's do power grid. And then we will do rods. So that's going to make iron rods. And let's see what the wall is going to look like here. So if we do wall. Yeah, it's going to kind of stick out a bit. Yeah, it's okay. I'm okay with that, actually. It's not too bad. And then this. Can we actually... Will this work through the building? No power. What? What do you mean? Did I not connect? Oh, I didn't connect a power line to that. Okay. No wonder. So there will be a power line here that goes to... Not this one, but this one. There. That's going to be running again. Uh, if I can get through here. There we go. Okay. Uh, yep, it totally runs through the wall, even though that looks weird. And we will just finish the walls here. Yeah, and we actually have some space over here, too. Not bad. Um, I think I'm going to get up here. Yeah. Let's maybe get up on top of this ladder here. Yeah. Toad. This factory is looking insane. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get back in here, though. Uh, I just realized that. We'll have to deconstruct, like, one of these parts. It's kind of... It, I wish it gave you a door... But it doesn't. Yeah, that's okay though. We'll just leave one of the spaces open. That way we can get in there and maintenance everything. This needs biofuel, so that's working again. I don't know how long this has been out. Well, we have 155 concrete in here, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, that should be more than enough for us to finish 
this construction project here. Let's, I think we're going to have to leave uh, one of these over here open so we can get in and out until we can acquire doors of some kind. So if we deconstruct that, yeah, that'll be fine. There. Let's get up here. And then we will do walls, basic walls. Can I get up all the way on top of this? Ooh, totally can, heck yes. It's like almost impossible to see through the smoke, but there we go. Do a wall here. And I think we can just do a foundation on top of that. And that'll essentially create a roof. Let's see. Oh, okay, I fell through. Oh, I didn't know you could vertical build like that. Oh, wait. So, can I toggle build mode? What is zoop? Oh, it allows me to build across like that. That's cool. Let's see if maybe we can get up here. Yeah, we'll just go up right here. I'm gonna need ladders inevitably, but that's okay. Um, we'll just zoop this across. Brilliant. So, uh, oh no. Foundation goes all the way across. Yep. And I think we'll leave that bit open and just push this all the way over this way. Um, yeah, we'll leave this open. That way we have, so we have a second floor to this factory that we could work on. And we can get up and down from here just fine. Sick. That's, uh, that's pretty awesome. There we go. And then our storage is right here for all of our screws and our rods. That's amazing. This is out of power. Is it? It is. It's out of power. Or did it, the breaker just snap? Nope. It's just actually out of power. Okay. Nice. Let's take all those. So many resources coming in. It's amazing. All right. Um, Hand slot, inventory slot, ma'am, object scanner, beacon, personal storage. What do we have in tier two? Part assembly, jump pads. Uh, so we need the part assembly to get this, which means we just need 500 screws. We actually should pretty much have that already. Um, okay, this is empty of biomass so what we'll do is just deconstruct that yeah and then that uh, gave us 10 biofuel and we have like 200 stacked up in there awesome
Might as well just throw the rest of this biofuel in here. Yeah, just throw that in there. All right, yeah, we got all the goodies. I think I'm gonna end up wanting to do a similar thing with the copper vein, uh, just splitting it into both wires and cable is probably the way that I'm gonna go with that. Let's see. Yeah, let's do part assembly. We can just swoop all this stuff in here. Uh, one more. I think we can do this last tier one research as well. Okay, so yeah, we just need a few more screws and we need copper wire. Let's do this. I don't think we need to do a whole factory setup for this. We can just split this over here. Oh, this is out of biofuel. We're gonna need more of that. Let's go grab ourselves some biofuel here. Might have to go over there and chop down some of them big old trees. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. This one. There we go. Some of them big boy trees for all the wood. Is that a tree? It's a big tree, huh? Yeah, big trees. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we need to refill this biomass burner. Boom, refueled, very good. Yeah, so I think what we can do is actually put a splitter right here. So we will deconstruct this rail and throw a splitter in there. So logistics, conveyor splitter. This one is going to go. So this will go into here, and then we'll put this rail into here, and then we're going to want to merge these again, like right here. So let's do this. Let's kill that. We'll do a merger here. So conveyor, mer conveyor merger. Can I even? I can't. Uh, hmm. You know what we'll do, actually, we'll do, we'll swoop this around like this. Where's the output? This is the output right here. So we'll do this. We'll put this here. Splitter will go there, and then we can do rails, like so. This can go into here. Is that gonna, that's not gonna clip, right? No. It goes quite perfectly, actually. And then we will just move the storage container, so we'll dismantle that. And have the storage container be right here somewhere. Actually, we'll do it. Ah. Uh, where is the input? Here it is. Flip this bad mamma jamma around uh, so it's kind of like right up against this. Yeah. And then
then we will put a conveyor rail right there. And that'll store both the copper and the cop or the coils and the copper wire. There it goes. Now it's splitting them. Look at that. Yes, perfect. Can we, let's sort these. Yeah, perfect. I'm wondering if this is, yeah. Is this full on copper? It totally is, okay. Here's what we'll do. We'll just store the copper in here. Um, we'll just store all this copper in here, yeah. That'll be fine. Oh, <laughs> I had to do it. I, I had to know what would happen. <laughs> he just ran away, that poor guy. Okay, so those are docile. We, we will not be attacking them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Let's, uh, let's sort all that. Perfect. We just got ridiculous amounts of resources coming in now. This is amazing. I love this. This is actually so satisfying. Uh, just building fat factories. It's great. Um, let's do clip this. I'm gonna need biofuel for this thing though. So we'll just grab some biofuel out of here. There. That's more than enough. We didn't even need this much. I can't to chop this tree down. What is happening right now? What is this? There we go. Boom. Take that. Take that. How come these are so hard to target? Yeah, we want the big boy trees. I wonder if there's like an auto harvester that you can get for these kind of things. That would be really convenient. Whew. Actually gave a lot of wood. Nice. Okay, I think we're golden on that front. 
we will just turn this into biomass and start uh, chucking it into the biofuel modular frame. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and let uh, this biomass craft because it's going to take it a hot minute to do so. Throw it into the biofuel generator and then we will have all the biofuel that we need for quite some time. But uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and call it here, guys. I'm super tired. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. We reached our goal of a thousand nuggets on a planetary space in the universe sim. So that's amazing. I appreciate uh, everybody who came by and watched. It really means a lot to me. Seriously. I know I say that like every stream, but... Um, I genuinely mean it. It does mean a lot to me that you guys come by and watch and hang out with me. So that's that's really awesome of you guys. Uh, and then we started up a new new kind of playthrough of um, Satisfactory, which I'm actually having a lot of fun playing. So I'll probably continue to play it um, on one of the one of the stream days here. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for me, guys. It uh, uh, again, I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye.